Remember, O most illustrious patriarch Saint Joseph, on the testimony of Saint Teresa, thy devoted client, never has it been heard that anyone who invoked thy protection or sought thy mediation has not obtained relief. In this confidence, I come before thee, my loving protector, chaste spouse of Mary, foster father of the Savior of men, and dispenser of the treasures of his sacred heart. Despise not my earnest prayer, but graciously hear and obtain my petition. Let us pray. O God, who by thine ineffable providence didst vouchsafe to choose Saint Joseph to be the spouse of thy most holy mother, grant we beseech thee that he whom we venerate as our protector on earth may be our intercessor in heaven, who livest and reignest forever and ever. Amen. Entrance Antiphon. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, <clears throat> be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, and of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. So my dear friends, we gather today, tonight, uh, here in the Eucharist, and each of us brings with him or her the joys, the fears, the pains, and anxieties of ourselves, of our friends, of our loved ones, of our country, and of the world. I bring this all into the table of the Eucharist and offer this to our Lord so that all of these two will be blessed by the Lord and be for us a source of his blessing. So now we prepare ourselves. As for his mercy and pardon, we will, which we ask for the entire season, his merciful love. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sit at the right hand of the Father to plead for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family, O Lord, schooled always in good works. And so comfort them with your protection here, as to lead them graciously to gifts on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, 
forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem said, Come, let us contrive a plot against Jeremiah. It will not mean the loss of instruction from the priest, nor of counsel from the wise, nor of messages from the prophets. And so, let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. Heed me, O Lord, and listen to what my adversaries say. Must good be repaid with evil, that they should dig a pit to take my life? Remember that I stood before you to speak in their behalf, to turn away your wrath from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I command my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. I hear the whispers of the crowd that frighten me from every side as they consult together against me, plotting to take my life. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny. Rescue me from the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. <clears throat> Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ King, King of endless glory. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom. Jesus, in reply, said, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink, but to sit at my right and at my left, this is not mine to give, but for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as ransom for many. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I just share with you a few brief reflections on the gospel that we have just heard. 
So it says that there, Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem and he took aside the 12. It's a kind of a, it's, this is for us. This is serious matter. And this is what we call now the third prediction, the third prediction of his passion. Before this, he already gave his first prediction after, <clears throat> after Peter said, you are the Messiah. And then after the transfiguration, the second prediction. So here now you have the third, and you can see here how intent the Lord is. We are going to Jerusalem. I am going to be there. I am going to suffer there, and I'm going to die there. That single-heartedness, the single-mindedness of Jesus. And nothing will stop me. That's what he's saying. I will go to Jerusalem. Nothing will stop me. That is my mission. But he comes along out of nowhere, so inappropriate, so out of place, particularly at that particular time. <clears throat> the mother of James and John, maybe you can see her sliding a bit to him. Lord, may he hang in ako sa'yo. And so he said, what do you wish? That you put my sons at your left and at your right. And our Lord said, do you know what you're asking for? And he said, can you drink the chalice that I will drink? Now it's the two who answer, not the mother. Yes, Lord, we can. Let's be, Lord, we can. Now instead of showing annoyance, our Lord instead listened and said, do you realize what you are asking for? He could have been annoyed and irritated. Why of all times are you asking me this? So he said, can you drink the chalice that I will drink? While the two confidently say yes, even before that, they had to ask their, their mother, you know, so their mother had to stretch for them, and then here, come, here they come, yes, Lord, we can. But then our Lord said, no, you do not understand what you're asking for. So he said, my father will be the one to grant to anyone he wants, not you, not necessarily you, the one who is to sit at my left, at my right. And then he explains what the chalice, what the chalice means. It's not what you think it is. It's not, it's not uh, when you drink the chalice, it's not the time of a, a, a happy dinner. When I mean drink the chalice, it also means pouring blood. And that's the Eucharist. I drink the chalice, which is my blood. And that's what he was telling the, the disciples. That's what it means, pouring blood. And so, uh, <clears throat> and in the latter places, he said, this is what it means. In the second part of the gospel, he clarifies it. Drinking of the, cha of, of, of the chalice means pouring blood, means giving life. And so that's what he said. To serve, but not to be served. Not to exercise authority, but to be humble. To be the last, and, but not to be the first. And so this is, this, is, this is one of our difficulties now. Uh, even among the disciples of Jesus, they wanted honor. Honor that is... It just so tempting that you have honor, then you have power. Very tempting that we have power, we want to control other people. We, wanted, we want people to be able to follow us. And that's what our Lord said. The lords of the, <coughs> lords of the Gentiles, that's what they do. You tell people what to do. But in the case of our Lord, no, that's not what we do. If people want to be with me, what they will follow is the law of love. And the law of love is serving and being, in, being humble. And in the case of our Lord, the Son of Man, serving means giving life to others. And therefore, that means 
if needed, shedding your life, dying unto self, so that one can be the giver of life to others. So let us just think of that now, that uh, yes, uh, it's uh, this thing of honor, and which is very timely at this point, honor and power, our national election here, that's our problem, no? Uh, what we want to look for, what we are looking for, is a candidate. Candidate who has actually served, actually served, is still serving, and will keep on serving in the future, no matter what happens. Whether a person is elected or not, that is not the point. Honor is not the point. If only they get a position, it will give them a better way of serving others. And so this is now maybe for us a way of checking who should be in that position of importance, who will not practice control and authority, but somebody who will do service, who will keep on doing service, even if such position is a position of power and honor. And somebody who tells the truth, somebody who does not tell lies, falsehood, false promises. And that's what we want for. Somebody whose service has been demonstrated, and it's for service that has been demonstrated, becomes our guarantee that this person, this candidate, will keep on serving. So in the end, let's pray for our country. Let's pray for uh, particularly what's happening to Ukraine. Really such, a, such an evil use of power, what's happening there. That's what, there's nothing um, more uh, barbaric, more inhuman way of use of power. So we ask our Lord now that a stop will be put to this. So let's think of our own selves how again, well, how we started. We want our own selves to be ladies, men, children uh, for others to serve, particularly this time of Lent. What can I do to give life to somebody? In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> The Lord teaches us to seek greatness in the eyes of God by serving with humility our brothers and sisters and working for our eternal salvation. May we take up our daily cross and come with him to the joy of Easter. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May our religious and political leaders never forget that true greatness is not found in high office or influence but in humble service of the people, especially the poor and the weak, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Lord watch over and strengthen those who are persecuted on account of their faithfulness to Jesus and his gospel, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who are sick in body and spirit see their suffering as drinking the chalice of Christ and unite it with his saving passion, we pray. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, comfort of the afflicted, protect and console those who suffer, we pray. Lord, hear Amen. our prayer. May we put our trust and hope not in the transitory things of this world, but set our eyes on things eternal, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Kaila Tan, Cecilia Cruz, Patricia Diliaco, Miguel Paulo Manalaysay, Joseph Set Saga, and Richie Lerma, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the healing of Crispina Mangilog, Donny Salvador, Jess De La Fuente, Concepcion Jimenez, and Hem Emily Quaso, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Miguel Antonio Macuja, John Go C, Norman De Pio, 
and Veronica Aquino, <coughs> we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Lourdes Buenaventura, Mark Benedict Ledesma, Gigi Carlos and family, and Charisse Fortich, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. And for all, all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at JESCOM and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. Father, lead us on a true journey of conversion so that we can rediscover the gift of your word. Be purified of the sin that blinds us and serve Christ present in our brothers and sisters in need. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Set our real Lord God of all creation to goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth does he give, have given humans have made come for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. In the mystery of this water and wine, may we be made partakers of his divinity, humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, be pleased to accept our sacrifice with a humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash me from my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. <clears throat> Let's now pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to the Almighty God of our Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that what you have given us in the pledge of immortality may work for our eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from the discorded affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness, Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We now proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and the rest of our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now all together as God's children, as brothers and sisters, pray our Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of our Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let's, let's now give to one another the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body, drink your blood. Let it not bring us condemnation, but health in mind and body. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that what you have given us the, as pledge of immortality may work for our eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let's bow our heads for God's blessing. Bestow upon your servants, Lord, abundance of grace and protection. Grant health of mind and body. Grant fullness and fraternal charity. And make them always devoted to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us all, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's all, now all go with God's love and peace in our hearts. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.